Hello friends, welcome again to this channel and we are continuing with our session on the MyCom P444 Relay configuration using MyCom S1 Agile software. In the last session we have discussed about the settings uh, and input output configuration of P444 Relay. In this session we will discuss about the PSL that is how to create the PSL. If you remember from the Ciprotec session, then in the Ciprotec or the Siemens Relay Configuration session, uh, I have explained that uh, in case you want to configure any input or any output, then those input and output must be linked with the internal protection function of the relay or the IEDs. In the Micron relay also, same thing must be done, but in the Siemens relay, that linking of the input and output was carried out in the masking IO section. In the MyCom relay, if you recall from the last session, then in the setting window, we only write the name of the input and output signals simply by editing the names in the input level as well as in the output level for the output signal. However, the input and output signals cannot serve our purpose of the tripping or as well as for the various protection functions if these are not linked to the internal protection function of MyCom P444 relay. So in order to link these input levels and output levels to the internal protection function of the MyCom relay, we use PSL and in this session we will discuss about the about how to create this PSL. If you have already subscribed to this channel, then you must be aware that all the videos on this channel are published in both Hindi as well as English language. Content wise, there is no difference between the two uh, different videos, there is only difference is in the language. So you may watch any session as per your convenience. So now let us start with today's session that is how to create the PSL. So first of all, uh, this is the, uh, the project that I am using today. This is one of the projects that I have made for my own practice purpose. So now just go to PSL. Uh, in case you are using a new relay for first time configuration, that then what you have to do, uh, do is just right click on PSL and extract uh, PSL from the relay. Since I have not connected my relay to the my laptop to the relay, so uh, I cannot uh, show you how to extract this PSL. But I have already extracted the PSL and I will use this PSL for the purpose of understanding of the creation of PSL. So just click on PSL, new window will be open. So this is the new window. Now zoom this as, much as you can just zoom. And first of all, we will suppose delete most of the signals only for the purpose of practice. I have deleted something over here and suppose I am deleting some other signals over here and, and some signals also I am deleting on this side. So, once you delete these signals, then now we can start with our session on how to create PSL in MyCom Relay. So, first of all, what you have to do is uh, you have to extract the names of all the input output from the uh, settings. So, for that, go to Tools and extract names from dot .set file. Now uh, this is the dot .set file and just click on open, ok and yes. So now it has copied all the names from the setting file to the PSL diagram. Now first of all let us uh, let us create some input signals or the input levels which have, we have already edited in the uh, setting uh, window. So now uh, I have to link those input signal with the internal uh, signals of the MyCom relay. So in order for uh, to do uh, these configurations, suppose we want to link the carrier receive signal or we want to uh, enable the step bus using the 89L isolators. So for those purposes, first what you have to do is just uh, click here. This is the opto signal. This is the hardwired opto signal. So click here and then click anywhere here. And suppose this first signal is carrier receive. Now this carrier receive is basically the hardwired signal. 
Relay doesn't recognize this carry receive until and unless it is linked with the internal DDB of the relay. So for that, select this output signal and click here. And in this, you have to select the carrier receive. So carrier or carrier receive, I think distance channel receive. So this is distance channel receive. So now click here and just join these two. Now whenever this uh, input signal carrier receive becomes high, it will automatically activate this distance channel receive inside your distance protection relay. So now moving to the next, suppose you want to create the 89L isolator, uh, step bus enable using 89L isolator. So again select this opto signal, click here and select this 89L open now this with this 89L open just click on this output signal and just use this stub bus enable and then join these two and your purpose will be solved uh, suppose you want to create some logic by using uh, and or or gates in that case suppose I want to create a logic of Suppose uh, block auto reclosure. In case I am using the auto reclosure function of this relay itself, and I want to create a logic of block auto reclosure whenever all three poles of circuit breaker are open. So what you have to do? Select this uh, opto three times. So main CB R phase open. Then again main CB Y phase open. Then main CB B phase open. So now. Uh, if all these uh, breaker poles are open, you have to block the auto closure. So you have to select this end gate. This is uh, remember this is only for the purpose of practice. This uh, logic is being created only for the purpose of practice. You have to create the logic as per the scheme drawing of your substation, as per the scheme drawing of uh, whatever uh, schemes you are working on. You have to create the logic based on those schemes only. Uh, now uh, you have to link this with the block auto closure function so for that i have to select bar now this and then join these two so once you join these two in this way you can create any uh, you can link any input signal with the internal uh, signal of the micron relay now moving to the next that is <coughs> suppose your output signal so first of all i am making this here so that this side is spare now or this side is free for drawing so just go here now you want to create some output suppose i want uh, to activate the 86.1 or 86.2 relay whenever over voltage and dea protection function uh, operates so for that this is your input of the relay side that is suppose the over voltage protection function operation so suppose over voltage stage 1 or stage 2 so suppose this is v greater than 1 trip and next one suppose your v greater than 2 trip so suppose the next one it is your just keep on pressing V and it will automatically give you V greater than 2 so I think now it will so this is your <coughs> V greater than 2 trip now suppose I also want uh, DEF so for that again DEF is I n greater than 3 in this relay so now you have to go to I n greater than 3 so this one is I n greater than 3 trip. Now uh, suppose you want another signal uh, like uh, suppose you want uh, stub protection. So again stub is your I greater than 4 trip. So what you have to do is select uh, suppose I want SOTF. So for that this is my SOTF. So whenever any of these protection operates what you want is you want your 86 relay to operate. So whenever any of these protection operate that means you have to select an OR gate so just uh, uh, select and then paste here and then link these signals so now these are the signals that you have to link so this is very easy in case of micron just do this 
and once you have done this now what you want is you want your output contact to get active for that we select this contact conditioner so select here and press here now uh, this output conditioner there are uh, multiple options modes available here like pick up drop off dwell pulse latching itself and we generally select dwell uh, the meaning of dwell is uh, suppose i put this uh, pick up time of dwell as 100 millisecond that means whenever your input uh, of this uh, block gets uh, high the output of this block will remain high for 100 millisecond However, if the input is active for more than 100 milliseconds, then the output will, output will remain active till the time your input is active. That means if the input is active for less than equal to 100 milliseconds, your output will be of 100 milliseconds. If input is more of more than 100 milliseconds, the output will be equal to the time duration of the input. So, uh, now just select uh, wherever this 86 is there. So in this, uh, we have not uh, selected any 86. Okay. For that purpose, what you have to do is just uh, till real time save this and go to this setting. The setting, suppose I want to use any relay as uh, the 86 operated. So suppose 13 relay I want as 86 operated. So just rename this R13H 86.1 OPTD and suppose 14th I want for DT send so just click here and rename it as DT send now you just have to save once you save then now you have to extract the name of these two signal in your PSL so click here go to PSL tools extract names from dot set files this is your dot set file which is the latest updated at 1623 open okay and yes so now hopefully these uh, two signals will come here so just zoom this 200 percent and come here contact conditioner and this will be contact conditioner with dwell and i want 86.1 operated <coughs> so now you can see here 86.1 operated dwell timer and 100 millisecond so this is very very easy in case of mycom the configuration just now link these two and it will be for 86.1 operated suppose now you want uh, your dt send also so for dt send suppose these are second uh, your signal so this is for dt send this is my dt send so what you have to do is whenever your over voltage or dea protection operates so whenever over voltage or dea protection operates so now this is over voltage stage one and stage two so just link this over voltage stage 1, over voltage stage 2 or DEF. So in case of any of these, your uh, DT will be sent to remote end. So in this way, you can do your configuration of MyCom relay and the PSL logic you can create. And this is very, very simple in case of the MyCom relay, the uh, PSL logic creation. Now suppose... Uh, you want a single phase stripping so suppose i want uh, to uh, add uh, some relay like this uh, single phase r phase stripping so now for r phase stripping what you want is simple uh, when should your relay of, uh, issue r phase stripping it should issue r phase stripping only in case of uh, distance stripping with zone 1 and zone 2 fault maybe a zone 2 plus carrier receive so now uh, first sec uh, select the distance strip A. So distance strip A, and uh, suppose this is your distance strip A, along with this uh, your zone two or zone one. So suppose your zone one. So this is zone one. If there is a fault in zone one, and with the time of operation T one, which is generally your 0 millisecond so whenever there is a fault in zone 1 t1 so what you want is you want a fault in zone 1 t1 and if your relay operates then only you want to have single phase stripping so just connect all these that is distance strip and zone 1 
T1. So when these three conditions satisfied, suppose then you want your R fixed trip relay to operate. Similarly, you can add uh, another thing over here like zone 2 plus carrier receive or you can uh, connect uh, for tie breaker also. So these uh, things you have to do as per the scheme drawing of your substation. Now suppose you want uh, to create some LED. So just select this LED conditioner and paste here. So suppose this is my first LED and suppose I am taking one more LED. This is second LED and uh, one more LED if you want to take suppose this is the third LED which is your LED 3. Now suppose I want my LED 1 to get uh, active uh, whenever uh, there is any tripping from the relay for R phase fault. That is for any R phase fault LED 1 should operate. So just click here. Select the signal any trip, any internal trip A, any internal trip B and any internal trip C. Sorry. So what you have to do is any internal trip A, B or C. So just select second signal which is your any internal trip B and select the third signal which is your any internal trip C. <coughs> Once you have selected these three signals just connect these with the respective LED. In this way you can <coughs> connect for your LEDs and you have to draw this PSL as per the scheme drawing of your substation after that just save it and after saving just uh, cross and then you can write this to your relay by clicking here send once uh, if your relay is connected through your laptop or through your DRPC then you will be able to send this PSL to your relay so I hope the concept which is explained in this session is clear to you and uh, you can learn this uh, PSL by uh, doing more and more practice by your own. So if you want to learn uh, the complete configuration, if you want to uh, do the complete PSL logic, then you have to practice by your own. You have to install the software in your laptop because these are free software. So you can install in your laptop. You can practice uh, for some schemes and then uh, once you practice or uh, if you are not practicing by uh, drawing then also you can learn simply uh, take the project of your substation in your laptop and then uh, try to understand the PSL logics which are created in this uh, in those projects once you go through multiple PSL logics then you will be in a better position to understand the PSL logics that is why the particular logics are created what are the purpose of those logics that's all uh, if you like this content, if you like the video of today's session, then please share this uh, video with your friends so that more and more people become aware about these concepts and they may apply these concepts at their locations. Further, if you have any doubts and or queries, then you may comment in the comment section so that based upon the feedback received from your side, I will try to uh, implement those feedbacks from next session onwards and try to improve the sessions as per the recommendations or as per the feedback received from your side. So we will meet again with uh, some other topics on, in this series. Till then, thank you and goodbye.